Hello guys, in this video I will show you how I recreated this effect from the game that is called OK and you can check it on the mobile. Basically I wanted to recreate the effect of the wobbling line. So you have this nice line when you are pointing where you want your ball to move. And as you can see on the screen it looks something like this. So here are the steps that I had to take. So first thing was to specify the direction where I want my player to move. Second one was to add the material, the trail, to our ball. Third one was actually creating this guideline that shows where we are pointing. And fourth one was to make it wobbly. And the last thing, the small thing, is to make the ball pulsing so it will shrink down and expand. So first thing that I did in Unity was changing the aspect ratio to match the mobile, mobile phones and I changed the backgrounds and set up a few things. I also imported a few sprites that I created in Photoshop and they are very simple, just basic squares and uh, circles. After that I created a very simple player controller script that just basically moves our player uh, based on the input that we provided. So I just cal calculate the position where I release my mouse button and where I click my mouse button. And based on that, it, it will uh, calculate the direction and move our ball into that direction. Okay, after that, I created player VFX script that was responsible for rendering the line that shows where we are pointing and I did it in that way that I created a prefab that I will be instantiated several times and I will distribute the each dot equally on on the line so the, the script looks somehow like this basically I use the lerp function to lerp each dot to its uh, target position Next thing was to create some simple tray renderer. So I created a very simple material with the dot as the sprite. And I used the tile method so I can tile it, tile, tile the material because the, the default one is stretch and it will stretch your material but when you set it to tile, it will tile the dots so you will have the same effect as in the game. So making the line to be in wavy motion so it will smoothly follow our mouse cursor was the most dif difficult part of this entire process. So basically I, I came up with idea that uh, I can make, I can use the animation curve. So basically I use the animation curve to define uh, what weight each of the dots should have. So and what speed each of the dots should follow its target position. So I again use the lerp function to lerp each dot position to to a target position but uh, thanks to animation curve I could make the like middle dots to follow more sl slowly and the, the dots that are at the beginning and at the end will follow the cursor more quickly and that's how I uh, achieved the wobbly effect and it's very flexible and you can play with it till, till you like it and I can go into a deeper explanation but uh, not in this video if you want me to just let me know in the comments the last step was to make this ball actually uh, beat like a heartbeat and I achieve it again with the animation curve. So it was a pretty simple thing. I thought of using the dot twin, but I didn't want to import any other assets. I wanted to make it uh, through the scripts. So again, I used the lerp function that just basically lerps from the two size that I specified at the beginning. So from the initial size to the target size and it will basically loop back and forth like a ping pong. At the end to make everything more polished I added blocks and I added the reflections so 
basically when you hit a block it will reflect based on the angle that you hit it and uh, yeah I, I made it very similar to the game and I think that will be it guys for this video and if you want me to make a, a series how I, about how to make this game uh, just let me know in the comments uh, and if you want me to recreate other effects from the other games uh, just let me know in the comments and basically I came up with idea to like show the stuff that I recreate uh, thanks to the other youtuber that is called Mix and Jam he's very great he makes very great videos about recreating the mechanics from the games but he's a lot more advanced than I am and he's making more difficult difficult stuff and um, I, I can actually try make more difficult stuff but I think he will make it better so if you have something sim simple mechanic just let me know in the comments so thank you guys and see you in the next one bye